Let's learn a spotter today. A. Identify the given bone and the pointed part. B. Name the structures attached to the pointed part. C. Name the important relations of the pointed part. The given bone is spinoid bone and the pointed part is spinospinoid. Let's see the structures attached to the pointed part. So you can remember with the mnemonic SAP TT. So that means there are three ligaments and two muscles. The SAP stands for the ligaments. They are spinomandibular ligament, anterior ligament of malleus and pterygospinous ligament. And TT stands for the muscles. So TT means tensor tympani and tensor velae palatini muscle. So these are the structures attached to the pointed part. So what are the relations of the spinospinoid? Medially, you have cartilaginous part of auditory tube and cauda tympanic nerve and laterally you have the auricular temporal nerve. Now what is the clinical significance of these relations? You know that the secretor motor supply to the parotid gland is via the auricular temporal nerve and to the sublingual and submandibular salivary glands are via the cauda tympanic nerve. So if there is any fracture or uh, necrosis of the spine of splenoid, the secretor motor supply to all these three salivary glands will be affected. And also you know that the taste sensation from the anterior tooth of the tongue is carried by the cauda tympanic nerve. So, if there is a fracture of the spinospinoid, the cauda tympanic nerve is also injured. That can lead to loss of taste sensation from the anterior two-third of corresponding half of tongue. So, these are the important points regarding the spinospinoid. Thank you.